In terms of our first trimester assessment findings, uh, once again, knowing that we had a lot of teachers that were just kind of getting off the ground with this by the time we got around to doing our first trimester assessments, but one of the things that was interesting is that the significant effects that we did see, and once again, we looked at our first trimester assessment results matched back to first trimester of last year. So we basically looked at what kind of gains were we seeing for this group of students compared to when they took a first trimester assessment as fifth graders. In terms of uh, our technology survey, these are some results, some of the key findings from, uh, from that iTree technology survey. We're looking at here at the top at use of technology nurse, during instruction. We had a 2% report uh, once per week of using technology during instruction. Greater than once per week, 96%. So the two columns are once a week and greater than once a week. So you can add those up and see that we had some pretty high percentages reporting uh, uh, technology use. And we break that down in terms of presentation software, teacher use of the active more, 93% total, fully 90% using it more than once a week. Uh, active more, 16% once a week, 69% more than once a week. So from our iTree survey, we're actually seeing some pretty, uh, pretty good results, especially down through the active mode. And for active mode as well, you're not going to use active mode every day with everything that you're doing, but 31% but plus 27, we had over 50% uh, using it um, either once a week or more than once a week. Once again, just kind of reviewing some of the uh, uh, classroom walkthrough as the component. Our, our goal is to do those three to four times per trimester. Uh, we're going to be able to get very close to that for our third trimester. The, the student workers from Cal Baptist didn't come out of the woodwork the way we had hoped they would. We thought we would have a lot more support from those student, uh, those student um, uh, workers from Cal Baptist. We're working with another evaluation group that we're going to be able to bring in to really augment that and get us to where we want to be going through the rest of the year. And we should have them on board here within the next couple of weeks. Um, student teacher portfolios. Uh, the teacher portfolio part of this project is something that, and I think maybe David's going to talk a little bit about that, that we're We've delayed that somewhat. That's something that we're going to be actually focusing on for third trimester. And the reason for that was with everything else that our sixth grade teachers were asked to do this year, it was just going to be overwhelming to try to do everything that we had immediately written into the project. So we're going to be bringing the, the portfolio part on uh, as we go in here to the third trimester moving through the rest of the year. Um, and then student portfolios, um, same thing for that. That's something that we're basically delaying the implementation of that simply because we had to do first things first. This is just some of the, some of, this is basically a, um, a major piece from our student observation, our classroom walkthrough observation form. We're capturing evidence of all of the different uh, technology components down the left, whether they were observed, not observed, or whether we saw evidence during the past two weeks. In terms of the early findings that we found, uh, document camera use, 77% of the classrooms we saw that observed. Uh, tablet PC use, 88%. LCD projector use, 93% and instructional use of the internet, 30%. So those are some of our early preliminary uh, findings from the walkthroughs that have been accomplished today. And then with that, I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to Dave to talk a little bit more about where we're going from here. Considering funding sources, this was just a list that I came up with for my principals, but I, this last part I should have hid from you until the very end. Make sure you pay attention to this. 
you're say you're not buying TVs, you're not buying white head mark or whiteboard markers, you're not buying, you know, transparencies. And they t principals are thinking, hey, great, I can spend that over here. And I have to say to them over and over again, no, 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 you don't. You stick that money in it in over here in this drawer because every time one of those projector bulbs goes out, you're going to write in a check for three hundred fifty dollars. So yes, we're saving money, but don't let anybody convince you that you're just saving money because it's expensive to replace some of this equipment. And that's all I have to share with you.